we're going to be looking at solving equations. If I give you this, this equation, x plus 3 equals 5, we would read this as a number, something, plus 3 is equal to 5. So to solve this, what are you trying to find? Yep. X. We're trying to find x. I want to know what x is equal to. I need to know this unknown value, right? I have a left side of my equation, okay, and I have the right side. So I'm going to draw an imaginary line down the middle. On the left side, I have a variable and I have plus 3. I want to, what do I want to get rid of from the left side of the equation? Here we have plus 3. How do you get rid of 3? If I have 3 apples and I don't want any, any more apples, how do I get rid of them? Take them away. What's 3? Take away 3. Zero, right? That's gone. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So because I took 3 away from the left side, what do I have to do to the right side of the equation? I have to take away 3. So on the left side, I'm left with just this x. And on the right side, I have 5 take away 3. What's 5 take away 3? So I'm left with x equals 2. And that was our goal. We were trying to find out what x is equal to. Okay, we're going to check to see if that makes sense. The original question said something plus 3 is equal to 5. How would I check to see if, if this is the right answer? How would I check to see if that's right? Yeah? Yeah, I would plug it in. I would substitute it. I would take this number and I would plug it in wherever I see the, the, the variable. So instead of writing x, I'm going to write 2 because that's what I solved. I, we said that x is equal to 2. So let's see. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Is that true? Does that make sense? Yes. What's 2 plus 3? Five. So 5 equals 5. Both sides balance. The left side equals the right side. Therefore, that is correct. So again, you have to look at your left side and your right side of the equation. My goal here is to isolate a, I want A by itself. So what do I have on the left side that is, that's around the letter A? What do I need to get rid of from the left side? I need to get rid of 10. Because I have a 10 plus A. And I just want A. Well, if I have 10 apples, get to get rid of them? How do I get rid of 10? How do I get rid of positive 10? Subtract. What's 10 take away 10? Nothing gone. What do I have to do to the right side? Subtract 10. So I'm just left with A because I got rid of this 10 plus 10. I mean 10 take away 10. And on the right side, what do I have? 14 take away 10. What's 14 take away 10? 4. So A is equal to 4. Well, let's look back at the original question and see if it makes sense. The question said 10 plus a number is equal to 14. We said that that number is 4. Does that make sense? 10 plus 4. Does 10 plus 4 equal 14? Yes. 10 plus 4 is 14. So 14 equals 14. It balances the left side is equal to the right side, so this is correct. We have a number, take away 3 is equal to 8. Opposite of negative 3, of subtracting 3 is adding 3. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other side. Negative 3 plus 3 is nothing, is 0. So I'm just left with C. That was my goal, was just to have C by itself. And 8 plus 3? 11. C equals 11. Okay, we can check. The original question said a number take away 3 is equal to 8. If that number is 11, is 11 take away 3 8? Yes, it is. 8 equals 8. Left side equals right side. This is correct. This one says 3 multiplied by a number, okay? Whenever you have a number and a variable next to each other, that means multiplication. So 3 times a number is equal to 18. 
Well, what's the opposite of multiplication? We always want to do the opposite operation. What's the opposite of multiplying? Divide. If I divide this by 3, what happens? What's 3 divided by 3? 1. It cancels out. So what do I have to do to the right side? Divide by 3. So what am I left with on the left side only? M. Okay, because the reason I cancel this out is because 3 divided by 3 is 1, but 1 times anything is still that answer, right? 1 times 100 is still 100. 1 times 10 is still 10. Putting a 1 in front of a variable doesn't change the variable. Okay, 1m is the same as just writing m. Okay, well, what's 18 divided by 3? 6. m equals 6. Is that true? The original question said 3 times a number is equal to 18. Well, if that number is 6, is 3 times 6 18? Yep, 18 equals 18. Okay, again, we have a number divided by 2 is equal to 5. What's the opposite of dividing something by 2? What's the opposite of division? Multiplication. If I multiply this whole thing by 2, this will cancel out again. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Because I multiplied the left side by 2, what do I have to do to the right side? Whatever you do to the left side, you have to do to the right side. So what do I have to do to the right side? Multiply by 2. So what do I have on the left side of the equation? What's left there? Just n. That was my goal. I just wanted to know what n was equal to. Thanks. And what's 5 times 2? 10. n equals 10. Let's check. The original question said a number divided by 2 is equal to 5. Well, if that number is 10, is 10 divided by 2 equal to 5? What's 10 divided by 2? 5 equals 5. Yes, it balances. Made with DoodleCast Pro.